Are you interested in exploring the largest waterfall in Europe? Would you like to see two magical medieval towns? Are you interested in a boat ride on one of the largest rivers in Europe, zigzagging between Switzerland and Germany? Can you believe that you can do all of the above during one weekend? If yes, then this video is for you. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will share with you our impressions of our visit to the northernmost canton of Switzerland and suggest some ideas on what to do there during a weekend. Rhine Falls is the place we have wanted to visit for a very long time. It's not very easily accessible, so we kept postponing going there for several years. It is located in the northernmost canton of Switzerland, unsurprisingly on the river Rhine. One of the most fascinating aspects of Rhine Falls is its huge size, earning it the title of the largest waterfall in Europe, both in terms of width and volume. The cascading waters plummet around 25 meters in some places, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. It was formed approximately 15,000 years ago, during the last ice age, as a result of both tectonic and glacial activity. The strong rocks created a natural barrier, which in turn led to the creation of the waterfalls. Today, the Rhine Falls is a very popular tourist destination, attracting visitors from around the world. Visitors can experience the falls up close through various viewing platforms and boat tours. For example, the rock, a small rocky outcrop in the middle of the falls, adds a sense of adventure to the visit. Accessible by boat, it allows tourists to experience the falls from a unique perspective. There are a few other options for those who are interested to ride a boat near the waterfalls. For example, you can take a longer ride on the Rhine, crossing into Germany and back into Switzerland a couple of times. Or you can take a very short ride to the other side of the river.
Once you are done with the waterfalls, be sure to check out the nearby town of Schaffhausen. Schaffhausen is a beautiful town located in the northern Switzerland on the border with Germany. It is also a capital of a canton with the same name, which entered the Swiss Confederation in 1501. Schaffhausen has an amazing old town with very well preserved medieval half timbered and Renaissance houses. Pay particular attention to the town hall with its beautiful facade. Visitors can enjoy leisurely strolls along a scenic promenade along the banks of the River Rhine, offering serene views and a relaxing atmosphere. Schaffhausen roots trace back hundreds of years making it a place steeped in history and culture. Throughout the Middle Ages, Schaffhausen thrived as a prosperous trading hub, also playing an important role during the era of the Protestant Reformation. One of Schaffhausen's most iconic landmarks is a 16th century Monod Fortress, a circular structure perched on top of a hill. You can get to the top by taking a steep but very picturesque road through the vineyards. Once you get there, you will be rewarded by great panoramic views of Schaffhausen and the Rhine Valley. Just outside the town, visitors can explore the tranquil countryside dotted with charming villages and vineyards, providing a serene retreat from the bustling urban life. For example, our trip led us to one of the most enchanting places, the medieval town of Stein am Rhein, where you'll want to allocate at least a couple of hours to fully immerse yourself in its beauty. Founded in the 10th century, Stein am Rhein has a rich medieval history as a bustling trading center along the Rhine River, flourishing under the rule of the Habsburgs and benefiting from its strategic location. The town's heritage has been really well preserved, making it a very popular tourist destination. Walking through Stein am Rhein feels like stepping into a fairy tale. The town is famous for its charming half-timbered houses, painted in vibrant colors. In fact, many buildings in Steinman Rhein have been designated as a Swiss heritage sites of national significance. One of the highlights of Steinman Rhein's architecture is the presence of medieval frescoes. These wall paintings adorn the facades of several buildings, depicting various religious and artistic scenes. If you are there, take time to explore the remnants of Steinman Rhine's fortified city walls, which once protected the town from invaders. We also recommend climbing up one of its surrounding hills to appreciate the view of the town from the distance and the top.
If you have about an hour of free time in Steinem Rhyme, we also highly recommend exploring its St. George's Abbey. Emperor Henry II moved the Abbey to the town more than 1000 years ago, due to its strategic location on the river. This move helped transform what was once a small fishing village into a flourishing town. The Abbey's late Gothic architecture, rebuilt in the 15th century, and its spectacular Renaissance frescoes stand as remarkable examples of the region's cultural heritage. To truly appreciate the beauty of the town, consider taking a boat trip along the Rhine River, providing a unique perspective of the town's charming waterfront and architecture. Another idea for this area is visiting the nearby city of Winterthur. Our time in winter tour was limited, but we still enjoyed our short visit. It can also be a good base location, especially if your budget is a bit tight. Winter tour has a history that spans centuries, starting as a small medieval settlement and growing into a bustling industrial city. During the 19th century, Winter tour witnessed a remarkable industrial boom emerging as a pivotal center for textile manufacturing and machinery production. This rapid growth significantly influenced the city's urban landscape and character. 
While Winter Tour embraced industrialization, it still managed to preserve many of its historic architectural gems. Winterthur also played a significant role in Switzerland cultural development with the establishment of renowned institutions like the Winterthur Museum of Art and Winterthur Theatre. Despite its industrial past, Winterthur now boasts several beautiful parks and gardens that offer calm spaces for relaxation and leisure. Thank you for watching our video. There are some other things which you can do in this area, which will be the topic of our next video, so stay tuned!